Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to do another episode of checking out some of your guys' solar systems. So today we've actually got two systems to do from two separate guys. That's the main reason is I saw one of them had quite a full, sm a f quite a small file size so I was assuming it probably quite a small one so I thought I'd throw a second one in um, for today's video as well. So without further ado guys, we will hop straight into this. But as I'm setting up guys, if you'd like to send in your own simulations as always, make sure to either join my Discord server, that link in the description, or um, let me the name, the name of your system on the workshop in the comments and I can find it that way. But please keep in mind, uh, the Discord is the lot easier way of getting a system in, so just keep that um, in mind please. Um, but yeah, other than that, let's um, get straight into this. So I briefly loaded this one up as well, just to check the object count. I've not looked at any of the objects, um, but yeah, let's go ahead and see it. So yeah, this is the beautifully tidy locked planet with life orbiting a red dwarf star. And yeah, this is created by the user um, Demonic um, in Discord, so massive thank you to them um, for sending this simulation in. So yeah, it's a short but sweet one. Um, I believe so yeah, let's go ahead and load this bad boy up right here. We go um, That didn't do anything. Can we open that please? Come on click it. Come on. You're gonna do it. Is the workshop broken? What's going on? Open <laughs> Come on You can open you can hear me spam clicking. What's going on? We, we stuck That is very peculiar if I just open a new simulation first Okay, that's very weird the new button is broken what is going on? <laughs> so no simulation will work. That we have found a bug in the current version where nothing works. Okay, well guys, I'll be back with you in just a sec. All right, everyone, we're back in the um, Universe Sandbox again. The game, I, I just reopened it. So we'll go ahead and see this time if it will actually load. So here we go. See so yeah, a beautiful, tidy locked planet. So here we are. Okay. All right, awesome, yeah, so again, like I said, it's created by Demonic, you can see it um, on the right-hand side there. So, beautiful, tidy locked planet with life orbs in Red Dwarf Star. So, a simple but beautiful system, so short but sweet. Uh, my first upload to the workshop. Okay, let's go ahead and see what we have got. So, um, we'll, we'll, before we view the planet, let's just look at the full systems. I like the background colour as well, it's just, it's nice, it's nice. So, okay, so it literally is just two, yeah, three objects, two or three objects simulated. Right, so yeah, good thing I did uh, bring a second system for today. So, here we go, so we've got the star... Mainly, it's a red dwarf, isn't it? So there are stats. But yeah, the main focus is this beautifully made planet here. So here we go. I'm not even going to try pronouncing it because I will just scrap it. But yeah, there's its name. Um, it's at minus 16 right now. Let's actually play it. Let's let it run. So it's tightly locked, as we can see. The uh, frozen side. It's always in darkness, as we can see there. So yeah, pretty cool. It's nice to have a tightly locked planets that do this now. Because I remember back when the game started, we never could do objects like this with it all frozen on one side. You could click tightly lock, but nothing really changed. Um, but if we just look at the full look of it, so that's what it looks like behind you. So all frozen up, but obviously in the daylight side, pretty warm. So we can actually check the temperature. So in the hottest that part of the day, 109 degrees. So if we go back to realistic, so this area roughly here, the middle, this is, goes up to 108, and as we can see, as it goes into the redder areas, it goes to 80, 70, 60. So it's sort of Earth-like temperatures around the yellow, just after the yellow area. So that would be somewhere here, because you can't really work out the exact area on the planet where that is. But you can see roughly, yeah, it'd be the twilight area between night and day, because, yeah, too hot in the uh, main daylight here, just because it's tidally locked, so all the heat's focused on that area permanently. Yeah, overall, very nicely designed. Really, really like the object. Let's see its stats, actually. So it's got 89 and 66. So, yeah, pretty decent stats on it. Nice, simple orbit around a wed dwarf there. But yeah, very nicely designed. Like the customization, like the atmosphere color, like the background color. So, yeah, nice, short, but sweet simulation. So, yeah, thank you to uh, Demonic on Discord for sending that simulation in. Right, so, yeah, moving on now. I've actually had to skip one, um, which I'll be getting to in a future video. So, um, right, yes, we're hopping two simulations down for this one. So this one is by the user Potato. So let's go ahead and see what they have prepared for us. So um, what system was it called? It was, um, blah, it's called, let me just check. I can't even, I can't even see it. It's called the, okay, right, here we go. So it is this system here. So the Intergella Solar System. So let's see what they have prepared for us here. Right, here we go. So they also go by Phobos Potato. Okay. So, all right. Here we are. Look at this. Okay. So let's get an object count. So we've got okay, a thousand off, see, because we've got all of the asteroids. Um, a system full of custom worlds that have been terraformed to be beautiful in all distinct ways. Right. Okay. So a massive thank you to him for sending this simulation in as well. But here we go. So here is the star. So 
red dwarf like stats there so nothing too large we'll get a quick comparison with the sun like we used to do in these so here is the sun see so yeah, a lot bigger and then we'll compare it to good old jupiter as well so there's jupiter see so yeah, a red red dwarf star right there we are right first planet okay so okay so we have a comet the comet so we have a little comet orbit there. it gets quite close to the star and then goes back out so that's comets in theory the closest object but yeah the closest consistent object is this object right here right so it's got mainly a yellowish sort of surface with a pinkish sort of secondary color quite an interesting mix of colors on there actually i mean look at that looking good right and then it's uh, temperature 101 degrees so pretty warm as we can see here so there we are all righty so it nispa so there it is there right now we have um sauron here so this is the next object out here we go this is quite an interesting one visually it's got a patch of water underneath very interesting how it's all put together maybe it's a bit of a uh, different versions as well because i know different versions can make some quite interesting looking planets but yeah it's quite weird how that shows up with the ice and snow we can we can uh, hide the uh, snow so that's what it looks like without the snow so it's got yeah, a patch of water if that's intentional that's really cool um but yeah there we go i like that even though it looks like the, it's had a little trouble going through different versions i mean it does look it does look quite cool i like it so there we go put the snow back on so there we are is it entirely locked as well because it looks like there's all snow on this side so my guess is that's tidy locked and we can check the surface yeah it looks like a tidy locked world okay so there we go so the reddish area here that's the hottest part and then obviously if we turn around to the uh colder part it obviously gets more and more heavy with snow and ice so yeah very nice object indeed 44 degrees uh temperature stats 88 and then 11 there all right so we'll hop out to the next object now so this one is iona over here this one looks pretty cool actually i like the red um, atmosphere on it kind of reminds me of mars on first appearance so there we go so reddish martian sort of atmosphere it's got a red surface um with white areas of snow on it eight degrees there looking very nice indeed very very good stats there 98 and 98 that's very very high up there so wow I mean, yeah, you can see here, Earth similarity, one mass, radius is practically one Earth. The, the temperature is almost one Earth. I mean, that's very similar to a Earth. So, there we go. But yeah, the atmosphere color is completely different. So, completely different looking to Earth, but still very similar with its composition and design. So, there we go. City lights on it as well. Very nice indeed. It's also got two moons. So, we've got this small one over here. That's a nice shade of blue on that. And then the next one over here, Curio. So, here we go. So, we've got sort of Earth and Moon um sort of inspired little system here with these three so very nice indeed right now taking a jump out so we've got glisten over here so here we go this one's going into the colder temperatures now minus 83 it's got a lot of moons as well Look at all these little money moons so these in theory would have been captured from the asteroid belt which is just a little further out yeah i mean this object roughly is inside the edges of the asteroid belt actually so that's pretty cool okay here we go so it's kind of like a large version of like Mercury and Mars combined, I guess. So it's got the cold temperature of Mars, but it looks more like a Mercury. So that's yeah, quite cool. I like it. It's bigger than Earth as well. Alrighty, so now we've got a just a massive load of asteroids, as we can see here. So that's all around the main star. And now we're taking a jump to Noob Nix over here. So this one is a lot larger. Gas giant, as we can see. So it's got a mix of green and greys on it, making it for its colours there. So there we go. Right, and then onto the moons. So we've got Locust over here. And we've got um, this one. Then we have this one. Oh, this one looks nice. Tir Tit Yusta. I think I say that. Again, apologies if I have scrapped any of the pronunciations in these systems. But yeah, that's a nice looking one. I like that. So orange colored surface, orange atmosphere on it. Kind of reminds me of Saturn's moon Titan, but with um, an atmosphere being less thick on it. So you can see to the surface. And then we've got Plumbus over here, which is a highly reflective object, as we can see. So there we are. Looking good. I like it. Yeah, I, I like it when you get these highly reflective ones. They're cool. So, right. Now, next jump out, we've got Lestas over here. Another gas giant. All righty. So here we go. So it looks more like a default um, gas giant on first looks there. And then onto the moons, we've got Calm over here. So there we go. Nice reddish one, kind of like Mars and Sedna. Um, oh, that reminds me of them. Right, and onto the next moon over here. Turvanax over here. 
looking good. Yeah, I like the design on these, very nice indeed. And then we've got um, Isit over here, which is a minor sized one. So there we are, looking good. Right, now hopping out to the next object. Looks like, like it's the last object in here, and it is a... Yeah, a small, um, smaller sort of, um, yeah, rocky planet just chilling out here. 4,000 in radius. It's not that small, actually. I mean, it's bigger than Mars. I mean, we'll get a comparison with uh, Mars. I believe it's bigger, isn't it? Mars is 3,300, yeah. So, bigger than Mars. Right there, compare it to Mercury as well. But, obviously, Venus. It's not as big as Venus. So, there we go. Right, and then we've got um, some moons around here as well. But, yeah, it's going to be a lot colder out here. I mean, if we check the distance from the star... Um, here we go. So it's oh, only 1.96 years. I mean, it makes sense because it's only a red dwarf, so it's nowhere near as luminous as our sun. So we can see, yeah, the disc is there, and this is outside the disc completely. So, yeah, I mean, that this relatively would be in the sort of orbit Mars would be from our sun. So yeah, not anything too far out actually, because yeah, it's only a red dwarf. So yeah, not luminous to begin with. And then uh, we've got the last object of the day over here, which is this blue object here, and it's got loads of like white splatters on it actually from the frozen ice it's got on it so yeah looking good actually i like that i like the frozen sort of splatters on it, it looks cool so there we go that does it for this system so this was the um it was the bit of that let's wait for it um the intergella stoler system so here we go and again a massive thank you to the user um phobos potato for sending this simulation in so yeah nice job i think that, yeah both systems today very short but sweet i think very nice indeed and yeah like the one with the 98 percent stats on it that's really cool so where was it um it was was it no it was yeah it was this one really, really like it. i think that's probably one of the highlights these two here this one and this one so that was a tightly locked planet and then the earth like world they're definitely my two highlights of the system but yeah that guys that does it for today's um episodes this was um part 143 now i think so yeah massive thank you to you all for watching this simulation also if you'd like to send in your own simulations make sure to follow the instructions i said earlier in the video about discord or let me know in the comments but yeah other than that guys make sure to all subscribe if you're new helps on the journey to 16,000 or is it 17,000 now i'm getting i just get mixed up the yeah, edges helps on the journey to yeah 17,000 now isn't it yeah so again massive thank you for 16,000 and also let's see if we can get 30 likes on today's video guys it means the world really really appreciated helps the channel get out there um, and yeah, make sure you all have a great day, stay safe, and yeah, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.